The only people that can re be responsible uh, for the evolution of hand surgery as a profession are the members of the Hand Society and people who practice hand surgery, and that's our obligation. The only physicians that are going to make the future change for us are going to be ourselves. It started out and we were incorporated, I think, in 1986, you know, just a few thousand bucks and just trying to get people to donate so we could stimulate some basic science research. If you look at where the foundation has come in the last 25 years, why shouldn't it do the same over the next 25 years? With this 25th anniversary campaign, we really have a three-pronged attack. Research, education, and outreach. Before, the foundation was really only dedicated to research, both clinical and basic research, but now we're going to really focus on three areas that were have a much more diverse approach to improving the, our practice. What the Future in Hand really talks about is trying to provide the pillars for the Hand Society for our members. Hand surgeons must lead. The name of this campaign is Our Future in Hand. And our future is in hand surgery, and it's our obligation, I think, and goal to develop the future of hand surgery, and that is our future. Basic science and clinical research is the only way we can answer questions that will help improve the care of our patients. And the whole field is just expanding dramatically, and the only way you can stimulate that is to provide funds. Without funds, uh, it's pretty difficult in today's uh, economic environment to do any research. We just awarded a $100,000 grant uh, for a study of lateral epicondylitis. How's the best way to treat one of the most common things we deal with in the upper extremity? Over the, I think, past four years, we've donated about $650,000 for seed grants, and these have uh, translated into $10.5 million of funding from national organizations. At least 50% of what I'm doing is different than what I was taught 25 years ago education for our members is really to keep them on the cutting edge of the things that hand surgeons need to know. The goal really is to take all the information that our members need and to provide it in an online fashion. No one's going to do that for us. We're going to have to find resources to do it. Touching Hands Project is a new initiative of the American Society for Surgery of the Hand. We're actually thinking pretty big here. We want to make this program a significant contributor to the health care of underserved populations. And we want to do it specifically for hand surgery problems. A project like this can really allow each and every member in the society to contribute both financially and, more importantly, with their own efforts to helping areas of the country that are really prone to not having enough hand surgical care. I really think that the new thing that we're doing on outreach is really a remarkable opportunity for all of us to participate in our communities. It's my goal as chairman of the foundation to really nurture a sense of philanthropy among our members. And we need the members to give now. I mean, not later, write the check now. So I'm asking you today to participate, to give, to be part of the 25th anniversary campaign. Find a way to give back what has been given to you by your mentors. Make a commitment, do it today. Join us. Be part of the next 25 years. I'm part of it. I'm part of it. I'm part of it, are you?